You have better things to do than philosophize up here with me. Take your leave, friend. I do have better Just things. Just remember that you can always climb away from your troubles. I want to talk about how climbing... I couldn't... Climbing... I nearly died climbing up here. I nearly died. Hopefully I can do this. Ready? This is Shay, and today we're going on an adventure. But first, <laughs> but first, I want to show you guys some things that I've discovered. It's really cool. Check this out. This is the Crimson Lotus Flower, which I found um, here at the Mounds of the Dead. And then this is the, as you know, the all famous Yellow Lotus Flower. I've got plenty of seeds for that, but I could never make them grow. But I figured out how. Well, actually, I didn't figure out how. Somebody told me that. But anyway. So what we need to do is make potent compost, which is right here. At the moment, we're just making normal compost. To do this potent compost, I'm going to need lots and lots of blood, which you can get from putting a head. If it's not a demon head, that is. So I've got seven of these deer heads. Let's just chuck them all in there. So if I put seven deer heads in here, then I will get blood. Well, it says that it's only going to be bone, but eventually, when it finishes, there'll be a little bit of blood here. Wait a second. There we go. So it's got blood. So that's just normal blood. It's not demon blood, and it does not have the same function as demon blood. It's just normal blood. So if you put blood into the compost, then you start making potent compost. So potent compost is made using normal compost, blood, and raw ash. So we can take this out. So we've got normal compost, ash, and blood, and it's making the normal uh, potent compost. And the potent compost you can chuck into here. I've only got one seed, so I'll only put, say, two in here. And it will make crimson lotus flowers. And I need to find the other lotus flowers. And I've, um, I've had a look around. I haven't found any yet, so that's going to be something I'm going to have to do. But probably only when I'm on my adventures doing other things, because the world is so big... I doubt that I'm going to be able to be able to like search everywhere for all of them. I have an idea where some of them might be. Uh, like I think there's something out here, but of course I have to be very prepared because there are other things in that area. So as you can see, this is like my kitchen area, and over here is decorating, and then I've got armor and weapons and health and stuff. There, are, the amount of boxes is very reflective of how much stuff I have. This is my decorating area. Um, up here is production. I don't think I've actually given an official tour of my base, so here we go. Um, and in here we have all of the armor uh, creations. We've got mob drops. We've also got leather and cloth. Cloth meaning things like this. Don't have much in there, but anyway. And then skins and furs. And then this is a steel fire production, which actually I'm quite out of because I've been trying to make dragon powder which I'll show you later and in here I'm making steel fire oh my gosh it's all finished oh that's epic wow I had so much stuff in there last night and I went to bed and it was all done um and making iron here and here I was making a glass of bottles but I had um steel and hardened steel production going we've got 57 hardened steel which we are going to need we've got 100 now that's quite a lot really okay so what I want to do what I'm excited about doing is creating, because remember how we went to the Black Keep? I want to create the Silent Legion pauldron, but to do that I need hardened steel. And that's why I've been so hard out making hardened steel bars so that I can make this stuff, because this is one of the best armors in the game. Um, I did actually make some for a stream, but I died and I lost it. Shh, don't tell anybody. But we need lots of alchemical base to make this. Alchemical base is made using gold and silver. Now, I've been around the world, been around the world, and I've got lots of gold coins and silver coins. I also had some gold bars and some silver bars, which you can get from up in the volcano, which I did during a stream. Also, everything seems to happen on a stream. I really need to stop doing streams or doing everything during a stream. It's so frustrating. You might wonder why I've got stone brick fence foundations in my inventory. That's because I'm going to need some protection. I'm going to need to like make sure that nobody comes along and smashes my beautiful base into smithereens. I've got this pretty little fence here. 
She's not going to be, I mean, Emir is cool, but I don't necessarily need to protect it. Like, I don't feel like there's much value in this. Like, I don't even have, I had, haven't been using him. I've got Emir, I've got Set, which is around the other corner. Let's go, Emir. Um, I've got Diketo. I'll come and talk about my map room in a second. That's not, not the next thing on the agenda. Neither is the religions, but we're doing it anyway. Yog, which is now tier two. And then we've got Mitra over here. Oops, oops, we're running into poles. Mitra is still tier one, I think. I think I was going to upgrade him. Okay, so what I was looking for was the bricks. Okay, I don't have enough bricks. How many do I need? How many do I need? I need 350. I'm not sure if I have that many. We'll have to go have a look. Anyway, and then set is way over here. So I have everything, but I can tell you I haven't been using much of it because I've been adventuring out in the yonder. Wait, bricks. One thing at a time. I'm gonna remember everything we need to do. Wait, okay. You know what? I am saving up for a brand new computer and I'm super excited. One that's gonna be able to handle me playing Conan. <laughs> <laughs> the moment you can see a lot of lag and I know oh damn it I used it all to make the stone brick fence foundations bummer I'm sick of the lag I really need to do something about it anyway um so I'm hoping that the that my new computer will hopefully arrive within the next week yeah um okay so what I'm gonna do because these are fence foundations they go up that far and I could possibly make it wouldn't be a very straight one and that's okay because nothing's ever straight in nature. <laughs> but I don't know how far to go out. Like there's a base over there and there's a base over there. Uh, was a base over there. Has it been taken down? Oh no, they took it down. It was Urukaj. <gasps> I was going to ask him to join my clan. Mm, damn it. Oh well, I'll have to find him. He, he might be... He is. He's somewhere. I'll have to message him and, and say hello and say, hey, you want a joint clan? I've got a clan going, a couple of openings going, you know? I've claimed a little bit up on this rock here because I want to put a tower. Someone's building over there, so I put it up there before he could build down there because I was like, this is my space. And I really need to protect myself from this area here, around this area. These trees are all my hunting grounds. This is where I get my tree, my wood supply from. So I'm a bit nervous because I don't want to get rid of that. Hey, it's a little path, isn't it? So cute. Look at this little path. And then it comes up here, and then you got the rock. So I guess my my um what do you call it? My wall will need to follow this little road around here. Maybe encompassing all of this. I don't want to make it too big, but then it is my base, my main base. So I can build it as big as I want, really. So I could go all the way around this little pathway around here. That's what I'm going to do with the base. The next thing that I'm going to show you is my beautiful map room, which is in here. And I sort of threw this together because I was so excited about getting the map down. Oh my goodness. And I've unlocked almost all of them except for the ones in the volcano. I haven't been to the volcano yet, which is one of the reasons why I want to make the uh, Silent Legion armor because that will help me go in there. But the map room can be picked up. So I can actually pick up the map room, depending on how heavy it is, go to another part of the world and plop it down and then use it to go somewhere else in the world. Although it'd be nice to have two map rooms on me, you know what I mean? I don't know. I'm sort of scared to put it down because I'm, I mean, scared to pick it up because I might not be able to put it down. So I'm not going to do that right now. I'd probably make another map room maybe as like a, and carry that around with me. I don't know. Anyway, so we have... Uh, what's in here, the Silent Legion armor, which has now been made. But before I do anything about it, we're just going to check. The weight is 29 stones. I'm going to say stones. I don't even know. It doesn't say. But this here is the armor reduction kit. So it removes superfluous weight from the armor. So I'm going to put that on there because when I go out doing the things that I want to do, I don't want to be making my encumbrance... I don't want my cameras to be way up here. When I put on the armor, hang on, I don't know if this is going to, I hope it means that its durability isn't reduced. No, it's not. Okay, so when, whoops, when I use the attribute, when I look at the attributes, I've got three strength, three, three vitality, three accuracy, three grit, and three encumbrance. When I put this one on, oops, oops, I've got five encumbrance. 
So it's quite a, this is quite a good um, armor for for collecting things for harvesting. I, I colored it uh, ash, I think, in red. Ash and red. I was, I've probably colored this outfit so many times because it's really pretty. But I wanted to find the best. What is this? It doesn't tell me what what dye that is. So we're gonna put the armor reduction kit. But first of all, I want to see. This is. So its weight is 29, its durability is 1,800, armor value 308. Does this armor reduction kit affect anything else? It lowers the durability. Okay. Hmm. All right, so that durability, 21, 26. That's gone down to 17, and that's 12 now. Okay, so this is 17, and now it is... It doesn't change until you actually move from 10. This is 8... And that's five. Ah, uh, that's eight. And that's five. Okay, so all weighs less, which is good. Okay, so we're gonna put that on. Here we go. We're gonna go on an adventure. There's a couple of things I have to do, and we're not going to, I'm not gonna show too much of it, but I need to go over here and learn how to climb. And then I need to go to the dregs go through the dregs again. I did it in a stream once, but I'm gonna go through again because there's something that I need from the uh, snake at the end that I didn't get last time. So I have to do that again. And then if we get time, I'm gonna to go to the Tower of Bats, which you probably already knew. If I did make it there, I probably would have called this episode Tower of Bats. But I don't know, I don't kind of plan everything. It's just whatever, whatever I sort of um, get around to doing as I, as I record, so. I'm going to get everything ready and I will see you right here, Finger Fang Rock. I just realized I didn't bring my sandstorm mask, but then there was a sandstorm just before it left, so hopefully I've got a bit of time. I'm just thinking I also don't have, I haven't got a way of um, saving my spawn points, so I, whoa, hang on, we've got a little family here. Hi. Hi guys. Good afternoon, good morning, and good night. So I'm pretty sure that's Finger Fang Rock, and this is where we're going to climb. But first of all, I'm going to <laughs> ensure ensure my longevity, and hopefully my children will get to remember me. <sighs> the children that I will have in game. I don't know, that's not possible right now. But anyway, I'm gonna put this down. I'm also gonna lock it because you just don't know who's gonna be lurking around. Give you all of that, give you everything that I have to take off this. Because if I die, then I just want to be able to respawn back down here. So. Okay, and we've got some bread. So some bread and some berry pulp. And I'm going to take Elixir of Freedom. Let's just take two. So that I can climb this thing. Now my um, spawn point is definitely saved there. Alright, I'll see you soon. We're nearly there, finally. I've fallen down this rock a couple of times <laughs> because for some reason it's glitched where you just you're climbing and you know got enough stamina and everything and then all of a sudden she just lets go. I tell you what, she's suicidal. I don't know. I have to get I hope this guy's some kind of psychologist because when I'm gonna get when I'm gonna get up there, I'm gonna have to tell him all my problems. And he's just gonna have to listen because he's got nowhere else to go. Hello! Hi, hi, oh, hang on, get up here. Oh, well, hello. Oh, you look weird. Do not let me spoil this moment for you, stranger. To conquer a peak such as this is no small thing. You have better things to do than philosophize up here with me. Take your leave, friend. I do have better Just things. Just remember that you can always climb away from your troubles. I want to talk about how climbing, I couldn't, climbing, I nearly died climbing up here. <laughs> I nearly died. Okay, hopefully I can do this. Ready? I was killed by falling. No kidding. That was a pretty good fall. That was pretty epic. Well done. Well done. 
I found somebody. I'm here in the unnamed city. I'm taking a shortcut down to the trees that run this way. Uh, I thought I'd come through here because you don't actually gain corruption. I'm not gaining corruption right now. I think there's only in certain parts of the unnamed city. But this guy... Oh, I totally missed him. Totally got me. Okay, okay, okay. I love this weapon. This is the Baal Pator's Lodestone. It's a legendary weapon and you get a bonus strength. Let's just see what the cleaver gives me. Demon blood, skeletal serpent man head. Lovely. Um, I don't need seven of them. Can I just have a few? Oh, um, okay. We need to split it. Split. Split. Chuck these out. There we go. Oh, but all of them will give me blood if I put them in. Okay. Just let it go, let it go. You don't need it. You don't need it. You don't need it. But we get to at least hang one on my wall. That'll be good. Now I'm here, I'm curious, so curious, because I've never really been in here, but this area here is is something. And I'm I'm curious if I you know, I've got good weapons. I've got to remember that I have good weapons. I've got Tila Sorrow as well. Hi. He's got a he's got a shield, so I've got to be careful. Whoopsie. Am I getting him? I am getting him. Okay. <laughs> That's a little odd, but anyway, oh, it's this one. This is my big one. What's the power on this one? This is 66. That must be the most strongest weapon that I have so far. It's hard to remember. Ooh, dragons! <gasps> They're probably really mean. I probably wouldn't be able to get. I probably wouldn't be able to get those. The spawning pools, all right. I'm a bit worried because if I die, I'm not going to. I'm going to spawn back in my bed, back home. But this is interesting. Okay, let me just see if I can get these guys. Whoopsie. Whoa. What? They're just standing there. Not being hurt at all. So these are the spawning pools, which I'm gonna assume just that they spawn dragons. Oh, is that a chest over there? Might be a chest. So there are dragons down here. Gaining corruption. Now I'm gaining corruption. Okay. I've got herbal tea, but I don't think that's what you use to get rid of corruption. Okay, so I've got a loot chest in here, which has nothing in it that I want. Uh, I have herbal tea, which is there. No, but it only regenerates me. Okay, fine. So these are the dragons. Gaining corruption. I don't want to gain too much corruption. Oh, so they look like baby dragons to me. If I went up here, hang on, if I climbed up here, would they be able to get me? Because I've got... Ugh, come on, get up there. I have... This is my star metal bow, and I've got star metal arrows. Okay, he's seen me. How easy is he going to be to get? He's not getting me at all, so I could just stand here. Except my stamina is going down, so why don't I take one of these? An elixir. Oh, is he getting me? No, it's not. I can stand up here and get him. Oh my gosh, I feel so cheaty. How is my, my accuracy? All right. If I go down there, he will probably, I'll probably not be able to get back up here. So I'll just hit him until his health is down a bit. Oh, hi. Hi, beautiful. You want a kiss? Oh, you want a lost an arrow. There you go.
There's another dragon. Hang on. Okay, there's two dragons, I think. I can't really see. Just give me a second. Two dragons. That's a new dragon. So the other dragon is being calling him. And he's doing that big roar. I'm just going to focus on this guy first. Hi, baby. I need a pokey stick. Where's my pokey stick? Here's my pole arm. I destroyed a dragon! Wow! Oh my gosh! That is so cool. Okay, so we're gonna find skins and hides from him and find out what we can get. Has he got anything in him? No. Okay. So dragon horns. Oh, I didn't get anything else. I got dragon bones and dragon horns. A lot of ex exotic flesh. I want to kill another one to see what he gives me if I get the skinning knife. If I use the skinning knife, where'd the other one go? He ran away. He ran away. Didn't even f find like help his friend or anything. All right then. We're gonna do this. It wasn't my plan, but we're gonna do this. Kill another dragon. I didn't get a head. That's what I wanted. Did I get a head? No, I didn't get a head. I need a head. I need a dragon head. Oh, ow. Now I'm out of stamina. No, just dragon horn and dragon bones. I still don't have a head. I guess I gotta use my axe on it. Arr, okay, if only I'd known. If only I'd known. Never mind. I don't think I'm gonna kill another dragon because I still gotta go through the dregs. Because now the snake actually dropped something that is necessary for the Tower of Bats. Where are we going? So I wanna get down here. So I'm facing in. Is that right? It's okay. We're gonna go this way. Be brave, Shay. Be brave. Wow. That, that skeleton I killed in two hits. Two hits with that thing. That was epic. I should totally use it on this dragon over here. Hang on a minute. Oh, are you really going to kill another dragon? Do you have to? Three dragons? Three dragons. That's good. get stuck and we gotta get out go 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 I had to put my <sighs> ambrosia in there did I just did I drop it I don't know if I did anyway I've got dragons chasing me I need to go this way I think I'm being a little too brave. What do you reckon? Oh! <gasps> 
killed another one. Mwahaha. Three dragons. I think that's enough. <laughs> Let's get out of here. Look what I just found. I left this here after a stream and I completely forgot about it. It's full of abysmal flesh, which is probably the cooked abysmal meat is one of the best Ow! Excuse me. It's one of the best um, ways to heal, to gather health, because you can have a lot at a time and stuff. So I'm going to take that with me when we go into the dregs. And this is a perfect place to keep all my stuff while I'm there. So I'm actually just on top of it. So this is where going there skulk is in, I'm just up here. So I'm going to put my stuff away in here and then we go into the dregs. Don't shoot me from there. Follow me. I need you to come with me. <gasps> Alright, is that enough on? Yes. Sacrificed him. Did he have anything interesting on him? Nope, nothing that I can use. Let's go down into the dregs and see if this big snake will give us what we need. It is the staff of the triumvirate. Woohoo! We did it. Okay, so we're getting lots of abysmal fangs and stuff here. I am like totally like sweet for this health stuff. That's amazing. Right, oh, uh, I don't need that. I've already got that. Okay, so we can go get out of here now. Woohoo! So I have the staff of the triumvirate. Now let's take a look at what this says. This staff, found in the acid pit alongside the abysmal resonant, is marked with an ancient language. The first runs along the length of the staff in glowing runes, whereas the second is carved rudely over the top of the first script, obscuring pieces of it. While unintelligible at first glance, beneath the glow of the bracelet, the runes shape themselves into a recognisable script that reads, a gift from the bee that gives us gives us advice, E, and allows us to control the T, must be brought to the R, the tower of the bat where A, placed on the altar, Y, awakened to share with us, E, only awakened by R, and 
their blood. You know what that spells? Betrayer. Betrayer. Hmm. The plot thickens. So I've got a ton of things in these three chests. I'm gonna have to come back because I don't have my encumbrance all the way maxed up. But in the next episode, Tower of Bats, guys. Thanks so much for watching. If you like this episode, please leave a like. Subscribe if you haven't already. And hello to all my new subscribers. And I will see you next time in Conan Exiles. Ciao, ciao.